All right, I want to thank you guys for sitting through this class with me and indulging me on my uh, all over the place. Uh, but just to recap, please understand you got to know your property types. Uh, you have to understand the different types of investing strategies, short term, long term. Understand what factors influence your investor so that you can gain a handle on those factors as well. Find out the best financing types, help your clients through those financing types. Once again, that becomes a value add so that your investor now doesn't have to do a whole bunch of other work. Dude, I've already got that lender, all right? Uh, become good, and that's in parentheses, at finding investment properties. Weigh out the pros and cons of working with that investor. Maybe you're going to do that and realize, hey, this isn't the world for me, all right? Remember the ultimate ethical responsibilities that you have to both parties. What I mean is the buyers and sellers because you still have a code of ethics that you have to abide by because you are licensed. If you're not, well, if you're not a member of the NAR, let me say it that way. If you're a member of the NAR, you have a code of ethics. If you're not a member of the code of the NAR, you still should have some ethics about you, but at least there's no spelled out code of ethics 17 that you have to abide by in essence, all right? And become great at working with investors. That's the conclusion. If you guys have any questions, I'm gonna hang around for a little bit. If you're at home listening to this and you have questions specifically, feel free to email me at raymond at realuniversity.com. Um, I love to answer emails. Um, we can talk a little bit more. Uh, maybe you're going to be in uh, my class a little later on, so uh, maybe I'll see some of you. If you're at home listening, I definitely will see some of you as well. Bye.